The plant we have built is the first in Australia and one of the first in the world. We're very proud of this. Um, it's been a long time in the making. What you are looking at is a new frontier for Western Australia, a breakthrough in solving one of the world's biggest problems. It's important that we find as many natural solutions to the problems that confront the world and the production of food is one of the greatest. This revolutionary facility could also lead to the next big boom for WA. It's well proven um, European technology, that's where it's really been developed. Here in Jandicott these massive tanks would look more at home in the Pilbara and they do produce gas, just not the sort of gas we're used to. Our latest move in building an anaerobic digestion plant where we take a hundred tonne of food waste a day and produce methane gas to, to run our generator to produce all our own electricity plus excess going back into the grid. Jeff Richards, the mastermind behind this multi-million dollar venture, has both the expertise and the dollars to get this up and running. There's no one more equipped to making things grow. He's now the third generation running the family company Rich Grow along with fourth generation, sons Tim. We've designed this specifically to our, our location, our conditions. And Matt. Yeah. So th that's just Dana bolted in? Or do yeah, you have we'll concrete the concrete in? Out of that oh, good. For Perth's home gardeners, the name Rich Grow is better known for this. Aussie gardeners have been bringing their gardens to life with Rich Grow since 1916. Brighter flowers, greener lawns. We were the first to, to really prepare um, you know, what is recognised today as potting mix. The company's chemists constantly checking for natural ways to fight nature's problems. Ants, aphids, weeds. We use uh, basic things like garlic and chilli and, and so on, but they've proved remarkably successful. And it was that constant search for organic solutions which led to this prototype green machine. We have always uh, taken the pathway at, at down innovation and adopting technology. These tanks and pipes paving the way not only for a clean environment, but also a safe food provider. We have less diseases in Australia than most other places. And that's one of the reasons why I've got a real plus in feeding the world in years to come because we don't have half the pests they do. This is how it all works. Every day around a hundred tonne of food waste is trucked in from the big supermarkets and fast food factories. It's typical of what will be get fed into the plant. We will be not only taking solid wastes like this but also a lot of liquid waste from breweries, soft drink manufacturers. When they process a chicken there's all the feathers, the feet, the head, the gizzard uh, remaining and that's, that's the sort of material that can go through an anaerobic digester and be broken down. What comes out the other end is methane gas. That in turn generates free electricity and along with the heat is piped into these hothouses. It was an exciting experiment to see what would grow. The stunning result, these giant blueberries. And you've spawned and another industry on the side. We've spawned another industry and uh, I must admit uh, we were so fortunate to find someone who'd bred this uh, variety up uh, for Western Australia and uh, the fruit is just starting to come through into the markets now. It's taken millions of dollars to get this massive enterprise underway. Numerous trips to Europe and North America to learn from their mistakes. Increasingly we've realised that uh, we've got the ability to do it here, it's just a matter of um, making sure you've got the current technology that's evolving around the world. It's been five years in the planning, um, but it's great to nearly be there. We're about a month away from commissioning. Even these rocks have an important green purpose. It's a magic stone because the minute pores right throughout it allow the bacteria to live in there that absorb the odour out of the odorous air and um, <clears throat> they consume the odour and just emit clean air. Rich Grow has always been a family affair. The Richards dynasty starting in 1916 when Arthur Richards arrived from England with five pounds in his pocket. Today, Jeff Richards says it's his grandchildren who keep him motivated. His legacy, keep Australia clean, green and still the lucky country.
the building of the iron ore facilities and so on uh, is coming to an end, but we've got massive capacity there. But the next focus, if it's put into food properly, is going to give a lot more um, uh, jobs, uh, availability, and um, it'll be stimulating and far more diverse across the whole economy and it's got a multitude of benefits. <music>